Let's connect the TP-Link RE705X to your home network using WPS. Uh, first of all, plug your extender uh, somewhere near your router as close as it's possible and make sure that your router is broadcasting Wi-Fi. And then you need to wait uh, for the extender to wake up. It may take up to uh, two minutes. You, you need to see the power indicator glowing solid blue and not blinking. So be patient and wait for this. Uh, then you can press the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the back panel and it's labeled WPS. So find this button and press it. And then find the WPS button on the extender itself. Here it is. This is the only button on the body and press it. So now you need to wait again. Now you need to wait until all four LED indicators start glow blue. Uh, by the way, if your router supports two bands, you will see 2.4G and 5G bands indicators. And if you see only one, you need to repeat those actions. So first press the button on the rotor and then press the button on the extender. Just wait patiently and that's it. Now the extender is doing its job. It extends the Wi-Fi range and you can connect your gadget to the extender's network. That's how to do it uh, on your smartphone or on your laptop. Never mind, go to Wi-Fi settings and find your rotor's name. My rotor's name is Manuel's team. And then find the same network name, but with the EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT means extender. So you can connect to this network and it means you are connected to the extender now. Uh, and now you can unplug your extender and plug it in somewhere else uh, in the midway between the rotor and Wi-Fi dead zone and enjoy your extended range. That's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and have a nice day.